sole proprietorship or LLC, which is better? Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Small, I'm the owner of Big Bird Accounting. We do your bookkeeping, we do your tax preparation, and we do your tax strategy. We do it all, okay? Uh, if you want the best, come and check us out. BigBirdAccounting.com. All right, this was a uh, question uh, that I got from, a, I guess, a potential client. They wanted to know, they have a, a trading card business. They want to know, should they uh, start as a sole proprietor or should they create an LLC? It's a great question. It's a question that a lot of people have. So I thought I would talk about it right here. All right, so first of all, know that there are only a couple of minor differences really between a sole proprietorship and an LLC. Sole proprietorship, I guess we can just run down them each, each, each of the things between the two of them, and you can compare and contrast. First of all, sole proprietorship uh, is not a legal business entity, it's sort of like a doing business as. You as an individual, doing business as whoever you want. To uh, start a sole proprietorship is very easy. You just start. You literally could just start right now, okay? I would advise you to create a separate bank account though if you are going to start uh, a sole proprietorship and run income and expenses through that account with a sole proprietorship you can deduct your business expenses you need to allocate and keep track of your income as well because you're gonna have to pay taxes okay which brings me to an important point one of the sort of downsides potentially to uh, a sole proprietorship is you are going to have to pay self-employment tax on any income on net profit, I guess, that you create over the course of a year. That is 15.3%. One of the advantages of having an LLC is you can elect to have S Corp tax status, which is going to potentially reduce those taxes significantly. Okay. That is the, that is sort of a, a matter for another video but just know that with the sole proprietorship you're going to sort of be paying the maximum <laughs> income taxes uh, possible okay over time if you are just starting out though it's not that big of a deal because you're probably not going to make that much money if you get over 50k of net profit in a year it's time to start thinking about some tax strategies okay we have you can open a bank account you're going to run expenses through it the other big sort of downside to a sole proprietorship is you have no liability protection, okay? If somebody sues you, your entire nest egg is sort of at stake, potentially. With a limited liability company, an LLC, as the name implies, your liability is limited usually to the assets that are inside of the LLC, okay? The other downside to a sole proprietorship, you have no brand protection, Okay, doing business as does not really reserve a name. It doesn't do anything uh, um, related to that. If you have a business partner, do not do a sole proprietorship under any circumstances. One of the good things about an LLC is that with an LLC, you have an operating agreement that outlines the terms of the partnership between you and any other LLC member. In particular, it outlines how you will break up. Okay, everybody thinks the operating agreement that you create outlines how you will operate um, while the business is ongoing. It's really, really important to talk about how you wanna break up while you are still happy with each other and excited in case somebody wants out in the future. Also, pretty much impossible to get business credit with a sole proprietorship, okay? So those are some of the downsides. It is really easy to start up. It is easy to change to an LLC in the future. You get all, your, all of your business expense deductions and your tax return is going to be pretty easy because the income is just going to pass through to you individually. Um, again, you're going to have to pay income tax that you, whatever income tax you're going to have to pay, and you're going to have to pay that self-employment tax. So make sure if you are making money that you are setting aside some of that to pay the man. All right. And if you need help with that, obviously reach out to us, bigbirdaccounting.com. Happy to help. Okay. My recommendation is often if you have a new business idea, you're not sure if it's going to work. You're not sure it's gonna, if it's going to take off. Start as a sole proprietorship. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, the other way you can do it is go straight LLC. Okay, we've talked a lot about how the LLC works already. Again, you're going to be able to do all of your business deductions through the LLC. You get your own tax ID number for your LLC, so it operates as its own entity. 
this is where you get that liability protection if you separate your business dealings and your personal dealings, okay? Don't run personal expenses through your business. Uh, it's not a good idea, okay? It's bad for business. Downside to an LLC, it's a little harder to set up. It costs some money. You need an operating agreement, things like that to be legit. So there's some, some added expense, some added um, administrative costs there. There's also typically a, a, an annual filing fee that you have to pay. And in some states, you may have to pay some additional business uh, sales taxes. Okay. So know all the things, those things that are going on. All right. Uh, let's see. Tax return is still pretty easy with an LLC and you're going to pay the same self-employment taxes with an LLC unless you make the S election, which I already talked about and I will talk about in a different video because right now we're just talking about sole proprietorship or LLC. Times you want to have a sole proprietorship to sort of sum it all up. If it's just you, if it's a new business and you're not anticipating making a lot of money quickly and if you want to start fast, okay? LLC, if you are buying real estate, I'd put the real estate into the LLC. Okay, you want that liability protection. If you have business partners, LLC. And if you think you're gonna make significant money, over 50K net profit in a year, uh, you probably wanna create an LLC and then consider doing that S election, which is easy to do. All right, that is it. So that's sort of my whole overview, sole prop or LLC. It's relatively straightforward. If you're not sure what to do, you, know, you can reach out to us again, bigbirdaccounting.com. Happy to talk to you, happy to help you work through it. It's part of what we do, bookkeeping. We do tax strategy. We do tax prep and filing. We do it all. Okay, so that is it. Hopefully this helped if it did. Hit the like button, subscribe if you don't want to miss any future uh, you know, tax information, bookkeeping information, tax strategy, all that kind of stuff. We'll be talking about it here all the time. And um, that's it for today, all right? I'm Christopher Small. I'm the owner of Big Bird Accounting. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.